Hello there. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Michelle Ferre. I'm a fourth grade teacher in Maryland and I'm a sponsored FlexPass student at Capella University. I am so excited to announce that I'm officially in my capstone, yay, which is my final course for grad school. So today I wanted to discuss what a capstone is and what I personally am researching. So first of all, like I already mentioned, a capstone is the final course in a graduate program, and it gives you the chance to apply the knowledge and research and skills that you gain throughout the program. During the capstone, you implement the action research process to improve student learning in an area of your choice. This is important because you are taking the skills and the competencies you have gained throughout the program and you're using them to improve student learning. So throughout the capstone, you are able to see the purpose behind your learning and you're able to use it to improve the field of education. Now the capstone is different from a core or specialized course because you are in control. You get to choose the topic you're going to explore through an action research study rather than being forced to study a predetermined topic. Also, you are combining and applying all of the knowledge you have gained from previous courses to the action research process. Since so many schools, including my own, have been forced to transition to online learning, I decided to study student feelings toward online learning for my capstone. Students are used to having social interactions in the classroom, so when they transition to online learning, they're often left feeling isolated. To overcome this issue, I decided to study the effects of implementing independent synchronous video conferences with students on their feelings toward online learning. Obviously, this is beneficial right now because so many schools are transitioning to online learning, but this will also continue to be beneficial as the blended learning format and online learning have become increasingly popular as our digital world expands. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you would like more information on Capella's FlexPath format, the links are down in the description box, and I will catch you in the next one.